learn about promises so what are promises promises represents an asynchronous operation whose result will come in future so if you are making api call you don't know when the result will come so that is handled by promises before handling going through promises let's first understand what are callbacks so there is issue with callbacks it's known as callback hell i avoid the callback hell problem promises are used so first we'll understand what are callback hells which is also a popular interview question so let's say i have list of posts let's say post id one and it is a title first post another post id and title is second post third post this is the third post now these are posts add comments there is comments array each post has some comments so let's say this is comment id one this comment belongs to post one and what is the comment first comment Now let's say this is comment two, which is for post one itself, and this is second comment. Now we have post comment ID three, which is for post let's say three, and this is first comment again. Say third comment. And this is the post and comments. Now I want to find a particular post by passing an ID, post ID. So let's say I call a function get post. I will pass post ID, and here what I will do is I will also pass a callback function. So we'll see it soon what it is. Now I want to I have this post ID and I want to pass find a particular post for matching with that post ID. So we can use find method array find method. So I can say post equal to post dot find individual post post dot post ID is equal to whatever post ID we have passed. So in the post array, if for the individual post, if the post ID this post ID matches with the post ID which we have sent, then you will get that result this particular object in the post. Now we'll check if there is post. Then what we will do? We'll call that callback function. So it is a common pattern. If you have worked with Node.js, you will see that in the callback we always get error as the first object. So right now we don't have any error because we got the post. So what we will do? We will pass null. And for the second thing, we'll pass the actual data that we got. So we can directly pass the post here. If there is no post found for that particular matching post ID, then we'll again call this callback and we'll pass error as the first thing. So no matching post found. And we don't need to pass anything for second parameter, second argument, because there is error. Now we can call this function get post. Let's say for post ID one. So I'm passing this is a post and it has a post ID of one. So if I now we also need to pass a callback function. So this function you can pass arrow function or normal function. And here what we'll do is we'll automatically receive. You can see call. So callback receive two arguments. So here we can say that parameter first is error and second is the actual data. We'll check if there is error. Then we'll return just log that whatever error we have. And if there is no error, then we'll just log that data. Now you can see we correctly get that matching post ID. So let's say instead of one, I will pass two. You will get second post. But if I pass five there is no post with that matching post id so what you will get you will get no matching post found because whenever there is no matching post find will return undefined and this 
if condition will not execute this code will execute now when there is a no matching post there is we are calling this callback we get this no matching post there is this code executes we are passing no matching post as the first argument to this callback function so get post receives two parameters two arguments so first is this post id and second is the callback function so this is the entire function that will go as a callback so for this function what we are passing if there is a post we we'll pass null for the error so there is no error but we get that data so we will pass data as the first parameter second parameter now when there is error we send that error as the first argument and for the second argument we don't pass anything so that will be skipped so here we are immediately returning so this code will never execute so if there is error we log that error we immediately return so that's the advantage of having return statement if you don't add that then this code will also execute which we don't want now let's say we have this post now i want to get all the comments for that post so we have this comments array now we'll create get comments function and this function will again receive that post id and call back as a second parameter now what we can do is we can use on comments comments dot find so now we will not use find because we might have multiple comments so in that case find if we use find it will return only the first result so instead of find we will use filter for each individual comment we check comment dot post id is equal to that post id which we have passed here we get all those comments now we again check if there are comments then we'll call that callback we'll pass null as the first argument and for the second we'll pass those on comments if there is there are no comments then we'll again call that with error no matching comments found now this get comments we can call it here get comments and for this we need to add a post id so this data which we got so this data contains post id so we can directly use this get comments data dot post id and for the second parameter to get comments we need callback this should be post id and for the second parameter we need a callback so the first will be error second will be data so this is the callback function if there is error then we will return that by logging it otherwise we will log that data so if you see we have this get post callback function this is the callback function this is entire callback function so this is outside and inside that we have another callback function so this callback function is nested inside this particular callback function now suppose i want to find likes of those comments so again what we will do is we need to again write here inside get likes so we'll pass the comment id and then we again do this so it gets nested and it becomes a uh, difficult to manage also you can see this if error condition is again duplicated we have to write it multiple times so as your code gets complex you have more conditions to add so it becomes difficult to manage this is known as callback hell so this get multiple time nested so to avoid this we can use promises